Okay, fam. It's lunchtime. So, been here, I think, three days now so far in uh, Cape Verde. So, it's been quite an experience so far. Uh, so, I'm happy that, that I made this time and came back. Um, so, hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Just like, share, and subscribe. You know, do the work, do your due, due diligence. You know, so sometimes you just got to get away. And, and I, I thought about other places to go that I haven't been yet, but this is so much closer for me. Senegal is okay, you know. It's, it's a little, to me, it's a little dusty. And it's not, there's a lot of crowds and people doing here, you know, it's pretty laid back. You got your little crowds, but it's not as bad. So, but thanks for keep uh, keeping up with me. Keep walking with me. You know what I'm talking about. Back in the 70s, the early 80s, I was a young kid growing up in Eastside, Long Beach, California. L.B.C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge itself. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it. So fam, um, she got my idea in Cape Verde again. Not sure how long. I know how long I'm gonna stay, but I'm not sure how long I'm actually gonna stay because you know, like last time I was gonna only gonna stay a week, and I ended up staying a month. So the Most High knows everything. So, um, well, for me, you know, the question is, you know, how do you choose which country in Africa you want to move to? relocate to so it's a tough decision for a lot of us and normally we settle in the first place that we uh, fly into is that a good thing or a bad thing is it a guidance from the most high is it something that that caused that told us hey come to this place live here and uh, this is just where you're gonna be at or is it a stepping stone so either way, you have to choose uh, accordingly. <clears throat> accordingly. So you know, as I come here, you know, in the cave ready, I'm like, wow. It, it just. I mean, I mentioned it before. It reminded me of the Caribbean, you know, Afro Caribbean country, um, and it's very, very beautiful here, and it's a lot of. Uh, you know, it's just peaceful, man. I'm like, just peaceful as heck. So, <clears throat> some of you want great infrastructure. Some of you want village life. So, some of you want both, like me. I like both. I prefer both. I prefer the option to have it. I can really be in the village one one time, and then I go to the something with great infrastructure another one. Time. So it's like, you know, having the best of both worlds because I don't like a lot of city life, to be honest with you. I grew up in a city, urban environment, so it doesn't really attract me. But then again, I like the, the comfort and uh, easiness of it as far as like getting things done. You know, most rural areas and villages are kind of like far away and it's hard to get a lot of things there back and forth, you know, going through dirt roads and whatnot. So <clears throat> that's what I noticed. I'm a little 
tired right now. I don't know my shades on. I'm sorry, man. I'm just like everybody. Um, yeah, I don't feel much comfortable. My eyes look tired. So, you guys are going to have to make a decision. Your decision is going to have to be for you yourself, if you travel alone, or for your family. You know, if you travel with your family, schools, you know, the education, employment, uh, when it comes to internet, infrastructure, you know, all that, all that has to be part of it. You know what I'm saying? So we have to include everything. There's people watching me while I'm doing a video, so <laughs> a little, little shy sometimes, man. Even at my age, I get shy. But, So you have to have that spiritual. I know some people, you know, if it wasn't for the spirituality, my spirituality, I wouldn't even um, still be here, to be honest with you. And that that kind of, it doesn't have to be Islam, Christianity, or Judaism, or Hebrews, whatever. It's all about the spirit in your, your spirituality. You know, your belief in the most high. And um, what is, in store for you, what is next for you, and that's that's and, 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 and that's what it has to be. So I know you guys are watching YouTube. You're seeing us YouTubers in certain countries, and then you gravitate to these countries based upon us being here showing you things in this country, in, this, in a particular country. But it doesn't have to necessarily, you don't have to necessarily choose countries based upon where the YouTubers are at. You know, there's YouTubers in Gabon, Nigeria, Tanzania, different places all around Africa. But for some reason, we only see certain ones and you forget about the other countries. And so what I want you all to do is to, is to choose wisely. Look, look all over to every country, to spend hours upon hours and days and days of research. Is the language comfortable? Are you comfortable with the language that's, you know, I don't speak Portuguese, I'm up here, I don't speak Creole, I don't speak anything Cape Verde, but I get along because some of the Spanish that I do know it helps me out. So, and the Spanish is similar to Portuguese, but it's not the same. So that's how I'm able to get around broken Spanish and stuff. So you really have to get, uh, but can we overcome the language? Is there something wrong with learning another foreign language? Do we have to go to languages? Do we have to go to countries where they speak the language that we already know? You know, so keep that in mind, you know, do we have to really go to these countries? So, when you speak different languages, you actually learn, I, I, you know, I shouldn't be doing it, but when you speak a different language, you actually learn, um, you actually learn something. I just had the fish, rice, and plantain, I don't know, yams, you um, get this lemon, lime, coke, here at this restaurant. I may show a picture of it outside or do a video so you can see what I was eating, what I was eating at just now. But when you learn a different language, it actually helps your memory and stuff. So then you can also bring that to the table. Like, hey, if you try to get a job or you try to do some te teaching, whatever, I don't know. So you can say, hey, I spent a couple years out here in Cape Verde. I speak Portuguese, I speak Creole, whatever. And then from here, if you learn Creole or Portuguese, you can go to Guinea-Bissau, Angola, you know what I'm saying? You can go to Brazil, so you can go to Portugal, you know, and you can go to, I think there's another country where they speak Portuguese, I can't remember. But Portuguese was, <coughs> Portuguese was spoken it, that's, the Portuguese is is also in Swahili too. Portuguese were in Kenya, Tanzania, and all those areas too. So not to say that was a positive thing, why, but it occurred. But um, it happened. It is it's what it is. Right. So I got another 
the video I'm about to uh, record. We finished with this one. So I got another important video. I'm gonna do some more walking. I, I did, I got about 20 videos out so far. I've only been here a few days. <laughs> Shorts and, and, and other ones. I got them uploaded already, ready to schedule, ready to get released in, in due time, step by step, day by day by day. You're gonna get some videos every day from THC while I'm in, while I'm in Cape Verde, trust me. I'm already about a week ahead of already. The internet is excellent, uploading excellent quick i can do i can do 100 damn videos in one day if i have to you know what i'm saying and upload them and, and that's it but okay so i'll see you guys in a few minutes assalamu alaikum peace be upon you yeah. you i think you still know what i'm talking about and peace and blessings thank you for walking with me let's do this peace and blessings back in the 70s the early 80s i was a young kid growing up in east side long beach california L B C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge of self. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it.